Now, well, there is a matter of a senior lecturer from Chambogo University that has been um, trending and some people trading uh, false accusations that uh, because the man comes from Lango sub-region, the PRO is shielding him, things like that, but those are very baseless and unfounded accusations. But uh, uh, what uh, the, the director of CID has brought out is that the senior lecturer is wanted for the aggravated defilement of a 16-year-old disabled victim. And uh, our director of CID in coordination with KMP, KMP Territorial Police are seeking the public's help in locating a one Dr. Aaron Lawrence a 56-year-old senior lecturer at Chambago University and the Dean of Faculty of Special Needs and Rehabilitation. Uh, he also doubled as a project administrator. All we see is possibility. It's a project under Chambago University. Uh, why he's wanted is because he absconded the police bond on the 14th of December, 2023 and uh, for the last over one month he has been in hiding. Uh, he disappeared on allegations uh, after he disappeared after charges that were slapped against him of aggravated defilement of a 16 year old female disabled girl and a beneficiary of the program that he was managing. Uh, the case file was sanctioned on the 13th of December, 2023, with the aggravated defilement of a girl aged 16 years with a disability uh, when he is HIV positive and also a person in authority, uh, and also a person in authority over the victim. Uh, he, this is a man who produced two sureties uh, after the file was uh, uh, still with the office of the DPP. And uh, so he was given the, uh, a police bond because of his health condition. And uh, these two sureties, Olobo, uh, three sureties, Olobo Lawrence, uh, Dodge Gertrude, and uh, among Paul, aged 54, have also failed to produce him. Now the facts in this matter are that uh, Dr. Aaron Lawrence, the, the suspect in this case, traveled as a caretaker with four students, uh, included, including the 16-year-old disabled victim to Nairobi, Kenya for a conference, and they returned on the 12th of um, uh, they returned on the 12th of uh, uh, October. That was 2023. Because he had his car parked at Entebbe, he offered to uh, give a lift to the four students, uh, which was okay because they felt comfortable with him. Uh, so he picked his car and uh, gave a lift to the students. He first dropped the two students from Gulu University at Namaiva Park, uh, and they proceeded to Gulu. Then he went on to drop uh, the third uh, student called Claire at North Hall Chambogo University. And then he remained with the victim. The victim is uh, uh, a, a student who has uh, uh, visual, uh, who has a visual impairment that during day she uses glasses to see and at night she can't, eh? she can't, uh, uh, she loses her sight at night. So she was in the car during night uh, with uh, the lecturer. So they drove together, that was after around 10, 20 p.m. Uh, from um, uh, Chambogo. Then she requested for water. They branched at a supermarket. Of course, she, the, in the conversation, the, the lecturer would say, okay, let me branch at the supermarket, get water. 
and then back in the vehicle. But as she took the water, she uh, lost, uh, she fell unconscious. And by the time she was waking up, she got uh, inflammations and injuries along her private parts. So, which means the sexual assault took place within the car uh, when she was unconscious. The following morning, her maternal uncle drove her back to her school in Mukono. She was a secondary school student, uh, where she revealed her ordeal to the senior woman teacher who alerted the school head teacher, and the matter was reported at Mukono. So the victim was immediately put on post-rape treatment. We obtained DNA samples uh, which were recovered from the suspect's car, a Toyota Wish registration number UBA349Z. Uh, the samples matched uh, uh, the, the specimen samples which were found on the body of the victim, uh, which showed that there was proof of sexual intercourse. So our CID is continue to work with crime intelligence and other law enforcement partners to locate the suspect and bring closure to the alleged heinous crime. And we call upon the public, if there is anyone with information regarding the inf investigation, or if there is anyone who believes that they may have been victimized, please reach out to CID headquarters KMP headquarters or call the National Operations Command Center on 776-999-136.